It is appointed unto man once to die, but after this comes the judgment. Folks, in all your activities that you're doing this weekend, you better seek the Lord God. And you better seek the Lord God while He may be found and call upon Him while He is mere. Now, there is a judgment, folks, and God's going to open the books. He's not going to love people into heaven. He already came and He paid the price and sacrificed Himself on that cross for the sins of men. But when on that day of judgment comes, folks, the mercy, the long-suffering, the long the loving kindness of God will be over on that day. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. That's what the Word of God says, that you must be born again. You have to be born after the seed of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. And Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So while you're walking to and fro today, see that's the flesh, folks, and the flesh is going to die. The flesh is going to die. It's not my church, folks, and I don't have a particular church. Jesus said you must be born again. See, folks, that's the problem today, too. And let's address that for a second, because the, there is so much apostasy in what they call church today. We're not a specific church building out here. There's many, the men that I'm with, they represent many different ministries. And the church of God is an assembly of God's believers. It's not uh, people that come to a church and visit. It's It's them becoming a member of the body of Jesus Christ through becoming members, members of, of the church in particular. That's what he says about the members of God, that they're members of God's church. And you become a member of God's church. You don't come to our church. You repent and you become a child of God. The Word of God says, as many as received Him. Thank you. So that's something that you have to do, folks. You have to receive Him. But as many as received Him, to them gave He the power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. So it's something that you have to become, folks. It's not something that you just decide, okay, I'm going to go to church today. You have to see your sin. You have to see your sin, folks. And when you see your sin, then you can repent and believe the gospel. Thank you, sir. Thank you. judgment here folks we're telling you how to get out of the judgment that's going to be upon you the lord jesus christ said he that believeth not is condemned already so you see folks i'm not judging you god has already judged you at the cross of jesus christ when he rose from the dead see he came he came as a savior to save but those that believe not says they are condemned already. You don't have to worry about me judging you today like a lot of people are. Sorry, sir, I don't do that. You don't have to worry about me judging you. You have to worry about God judging you. And God's judgment, folks, is a serious judgment because he's going to open the books. 
and the books were open. That's right, folks, the books are going to be open, and God's going to judge men written out of those things. God's going to judge men written out of those things written in the books. And whosoever's name was not found written in the book of life was cast into a lake of fire. That's right, folks. There's going to be names. There's going to be books. There's going to be judgment. You know, a lot of you people today, you, you keep coming by here and you say, oh, why are you judging me? Folks, we're warning you about the judgment to come. We're not going to judge you. We're not going to cast you into hell. God is. And God's looking for those that will humble themselves in the sight of God, that they will repent, they will turn from their wicked ways and turn to the living God. That is the will of God for you. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. He came into the world to save sinners, folks. And that's what you are today. You need the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Except ye repent. No, folks, see, you are, all have your own imaginations of your own heart. We're trying to tell you how not to die. We're trying to tell you how to have life tonight. We're not, we're not, you're not, you're going to die if you remain in your sin because that's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. The Lord Jesus Christ said that if you believe not that I am He, you're going to die in your sin. So we're not bringing judgment on anybody tonight, folks. The judgment has already been set. The, the, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ has judged all men. We're coming out warning men. We're coming out and warning men so that they could repent, so that they could be saved and enter into the kingdom of God. Don't be one of those folks that keep rejecting night after night, month after month, year after year, rejecting the gift of God. And this is life eternal, that you may know Him, the true God. This is life eternal. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son hath not life. So in order to be saved, you have to have life. Repent, believe the gospel, the kingdom of God is at hand.